Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about fractions. The fraction means a part of entire object or something that is whole. The whole may refer to a single object like the whole chocolate bar or a collection of objects like a bunch of cherries. For example, if we want to divide one chocolate bar between two children equally, what will we do? We will give half a chocolate to both of them, that is, half part of the chocolate for each child. But when dividing a bunch of cherries among two children, we give half a bunch to each child, isn't it? Each gets half of the total number of cherries. So if we have 20 cherries, how many each will get? Each child will get 20 divided by 2 which is 10. So each gets 10 cherries. Now in half or 1 by 2, what does 2 stand for? It is the number of equal parts into which the whole has been divided. Like we divided the chocolate into two equal parts or we divided the bunch of cherries into two equal parts. And what does one stand for? It is the number of equal parts which has been taken out. Means we shall give one part of the chocolate bar out of the two parts. Here one is called the numerator and two is called the denominator. Now if we have 12 chocolates and we divide them into four parts, how would we write them? Four equal parts of 12 means 12 divided by 4 which is 3. So 3 chocolates in each of the 4 equal parts. So every part would have 3 out of the total of 12 chocolates. That is 3 by 12 parts of the whole collection. Here 3 is the numerator and 12 is the denominator. Same way, in 3 by 4, 3 is the numerator and 4 is the denominator. In 10 by 20, that is 10 parts out of 20 parts, 10 is the numerator and 20 is the denominator. So, we call the top number the numerator it gives the number of parts you have. We call the bottom number the denominator. It is the total number of parts the whole or collection is divided into. So remember a fraction is represented as numerator by denominator. For example, if the mother baked a cake and there were four members in the family, so she cut the cake into four equal parts. The mother gave one one piece to each child. So each child out of the two children got one fourth part. But the children liked the cake and wanted more. So she gave remaining two one-fourth pieces to them also. So both the children got two one-fourth parts of the cake. Hey look, here the cake is cut into two halves. And two one-fourth parts is also same as the half part. Right children? So we can say 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. Right children? Two parts 
out of four parts is equal to one part out of the two equal parts. Confused? Let us take another example. There are six chocolates. Two friends divide them equally. So, each gets three three chocolate each. It means three by six or three out of six chocolates come in each part. But see, what did they do actually? They divided six chocolates into two equal shares. That is, each gets half of a collection, isn't it? So, half or one by two is equal to three by six. Right, children? Take another example. Let's make two parts of a whole. Then, four parts of another whole. And lastly, six parts of another whole. Now, take one part out of the two equal parts of the whole. In the next, take two parts out of the four parts of the whole. And lastly, take three parts out of the six parts of a whole. So, what do we see? They all show basically the same thing. That is, they all are a half of a whole. Just look at the picture again. They are seen to be equal. These fractions 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 3 by 6 are called equivalent fractions as they represent the same value. Same way, if we take half of a collection, say a bunch of 12 cherries, then it is 6 cherries as 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, half of 12 is 6. Also, if we make 4 parts of 12 cherries, then each part has 3 cherries. If we take 2 parts, that is 2 by 4, then again we take 6 cherries only because 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Similarly, if we make 6 parts of 12 cherries, then each part has 2 cherries. And if we take 3 parts, that is 3 parts out of the 6 parts, then again it is the same, which is 6 cherries, as 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Look carefully, whether it is 1 by 2, or 2 by 4 or 3 by 6 all are equal and represent the same amount that is 6 cherries out of the 12 cherries. So now you clearly understand why these fractions 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 3 by 6 are called equivalent fractions as they all represent the same value. Now, you may ask, how would you find an equivalent fraction of a given fraction? Well, just multiply both the numerator and the denominator of a given fraction by the same number. Like we saw, half is equal to 2 by 4 because half multiplied by 2 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4. Same way, 2 by 4 multiplied by 3 by 3 is equal to 6 by 12. So, we can say 2 by 4 is equal to 6 by 12. Right, children? Similarly, in case of collection, say 
9 oranges, 2 third of 9 oranges is actually 2 third multiplied by 3 by 3 is equal to 6 by 9. So, 2 third is also equal to 6 by 9 parts of a whole collection. Isn't it? You know, there is one more way to obtain equivalent fractions. In that, to find an equivalent fraction, you have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Like we saw, 2 by 4 is equal to 1 by 2. 2 by 4 divided by 2 by 2 is equal to half. Again, 3 by 12 parts of 12 chocolates is actually 3 by 12 divided by 3 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 4. So, 3 by 12 is equal to 1 by 4. Understood? So, if we divide or multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number, the real value of the fraction remains same because we get an equivalent fraction. That was all about equivalent fractions. Bye-bye children.